every woman's gonna be dating Pete Davidson in the in the metaverse. Bro, you know what I heard? <laughs> bro, he bounces around. Bro, he has to be sucking farts out of bitty bitches ass. He's or doing something. he's doing something that nobody else wants. He's to doing do. something no one else is capable of doing or something. I don't know, man. Because he did like how how is he bagging all these all these chicks, bro? Oh, he, he got another one. Yeah, he has a new a, a, a new what the fuck is her name, man? Oh, uh, he, he she bad? Is that what it's supposed to be? I, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. I haven't. Uh, he's, he's dating. What's her name? Emily. I don't know these people. Emily Rada Jakowski. I don't know. I don't know. She looked oh, good though. Oh wait, I I think um she was in a movie. I can't. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I think I know who you're talking about. Look at her. He, he yeah. I know. I think I know who it is. Um, but he's just really funny. Like he's just a real funny guy. But that does that mean everyone in Hollywood is not funny? Or he just if, gotta, if he's able to just go, he, or he just piping them down, bro. It, it is what it is. He just he does whatever they want to do. He just say jokes while he's hidden. Yeah, he, he just hitting it from the back. Yeah, like, that would yeah. be the worst time to say a joke. <sighs> Shit, bro. You you know in Hollywood, I mean, you could tell that he looks like he does a lot of drugs. So he just be boofing, be boofing again. Put up. <laughs> <laughs> we back to moving, <laughs> bro. He, I mean, come on. You know, in Hollywood, they do a shit ton of drugs, and he. I mean, he's on SNL, and that's like one of the. He's super popular. He's on SNL, bro. If you're on Saturday Night Live, that's like. Yeah, uh, that is the that, I, that I, is like the show for people to be like, yo, like he's the coolest guy. That's white America in a fucking like yeah, that's nutshell. It. Yeah, well, th- that's what they always wanted to do, like. Um, but you know, back then, to having like a late night show was like everybody. That'd be the epitome of every. Like, oh my god, he, he made it. that's like the holy grail for a lot of people. You make it there because you what you average. Like, I don't, I don't want to. Let Let's say you're I mean, twelve million people. Let's see how many. If you want to look up the number, how many people are on SNL that watch every night? But it's a lot of people, and it's almost like and you know they're gonna tune in. Those people have money, so the type of money that they make at SNL is crazy. Plus, it catapults your career. Bro, yeah, if you're on SNL, like it catapults you, you. You pretty much is you like made it. Is like what an A lister. Yeah, you're an A lister. Yeah. It's, it's automatic A lister. Like you made it. You rub shoulders. You know, we rub elbows with like the the richest people. So that's probably why you know. And it it, it also boosts her. Yeah, Emily bro, up. Ariana Grande too. What? P.P. Davidson was bro. Oh, he was with Ariana Grande. Kim. Damn, and, he was bro. With all he bro he doing it, bro. He, he out there. I I just but he's Im- he's funny. Like, I just look. can't imagine like what the fuck he's saying. Bro, he you never see his stand is pretty funny. Pete Davis. I know he's guy. funny, but I'm like, damn. But he, he's, he, he, even, he even comes off as like morbid. Like he's kind of like even some of the stuff that he says is almost like, dude, he hates himself. So like, he so he buries himself in ass. <laughs> he hates himself, so he buries himself in like the baddest bitches. That's probably what he does. That's a good it, way to punish yourself. Yeah, but a lot of these girls probably they just like if you fuck up, they got another man waiting. One time is fine with me. <laughs> that's that's the way he, that seems like the the way he's going about things. But he didn't he like checking in like a ment, you know rehab for his mental health and yeah, he's like he's done all that and he rebounds with a better bitch than the time prior. I don't know, man. Is, is he happy though? That's the question. He's happy when he's in it, <laughs> and then when he's out of it, he seems to be pretty sad. Yeah, but he be he be like miserable. I'm gonna hurt myself. It's just like, bro, is it a game? Is this part of his trick? It's ploy. I don't know. Bro. But he's funny. Oh, that, that's shit. what it comes down to. He's a funny, d- depressed person. Yeah, he's a funny, morbid person. So he gets bitches. And, and then he has Crohn's disease. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. And it seems like every time someone breaks up with him, they don't say anything bad. No, nah, they don't. Like, they're just like, ah, I got bored of him. <laughs> <laughs> I got bored of him. <laughs> that's kind of how it goes. Yo, Pete, he, is, he seems like such a nice guy. But if he fucks your girlfriend, you kick his ass, and then you feel bad for kicking his ass. Like he's just so little. Oh, like, he's you know? one of, yeah, he's one of those. Yeah, uh, he's a Jerry from uh, Rick and Morty. Yeah, he really is. He is a Jerry, but he's funnier than this Jerry. That Jerry's like kind of a doof. Yes, he he's a fucking Jerry. Yeah, he is. All right, man. Yeah, that was actually. Hmm. I didn't even realize he was a. Uh, well, I just seen it trending on Twitter. I'm like Pete oh, Davidson again. I'm like, what the. F- Bro, it's good. He's on Saturday Night Live. If if you're on SNL, you're always gonna be trending. Anything you do, you're gonna be trending, bro. It is what it is. 